early. We just the first half of our shopping. We hit uh, the first store in Publix here. That's what we outside of now. Yay! So what's up, guys? Today we are going on an errands list. We have to go food shopping. So we're running up the hill. The big hill I showed you guys. We're going to make a grocery store run. Yeah. So this is the way I taxi my queen. <laughs> that way she has to walk like I don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she sits on my lap and we drive. So yeah, we're going to taxi up to the store, get a couple things. Then we're going to come back down. I'm going to charge my chair for a little bit more. We're going to go head back out to a store that's a tad bit further away. So, um, so, babe, do you want to hit Publix first or you want to hit the other one? I the store first. The other one? Yeah. Cool beans. So, yeah, that's what we got today. And again, right now, like, it's been a pretty gorgeous week here in North Carolina. So, like, it's really nice out. It's not, but then again, it's still early. Well, that's about noon. It's about peak of the day. We're getting closer to the peak of the day heat. It's, it's hot, but it's not like, not yet, nothing like yesterday. It definitely has like a cooler touch to it. Not necessarily a breeze, it's just not as humid. That's what it is. This is more of a drier heat than yesterday. Eli finally came up with a name for our vlog. We are going to be called Howie Vibe. Yay, put a high vibrations. Watch it. I see them. They're watching for me though. <laughs> yeah. Showing how we vibe. You no, know, with our high vibrations, how we vibe. You get it. I gotta explain. Yeah. But yeah. So today is like a very, very, very busy day for us. Like, we're gonna be. After we get our grocery list and all that stuff taken care of, we're gonna come back to the house. And I'm gonna be, you know, setting up things for the YouTube channel. And uh, the queen is gonna be doing some things also. I am going to be decorating our suitcase, even though he mentioned that yesterday. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing that today. So before and after shots, you know, I'm an artist. Gotta love the art. So you'll see the before and after of what the suitcase looked like before. And then how my queen does, you know, put her personal swag on that thing. It's going to be really, really nice. Like, it's already nice as itself, like as a base or where it starts like. But when my queen is done, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be dope. I'm going to love it. Woohoo! So, All yeah. right, people. So we here at the first grocery store. So um, we'll see you guys, I guess, Later. on the way out. Of course, you know me, I'm out with no shirt. It's hot. I put my shirt on right before I go in the store, as always. It ain't nobody's business. What's up, guys? So early, we just the first half of our shopping. We hit uh, the first store in Publix here. That's what we outside of now. Um, it's pretty hot. It's gonna, it definitely gonna warm up a little bit since you know we started. But uh, feels good. We got the first half of our day done. We're gonna be about to head towards the house, to recharge, unpack this stuff, cool off for a minute, and then head back out for the long distance trip. So uh, let's go, guys. I'm glad. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It's going cool. Spots, the humidity came up. Is, uh, we do have a slight breeze now that we didn't have earlier. So like I guess I guess compensates. Yeah. So this is how we get the stuff done. It's teamwork. We always bring extra bags. Luckily, all these don't give you bags, so we get boxes, so we can just do stuff like this. See, I got all the groceries on my bag, I mean, on my lap. <laughs> and also, I have groceries hanging on the back of my chair. Very, very, very efficient. And I got the rest of the groceries in our bag that I'm carrying. So it works. This is some of the pluses of being in a wheelchair, guys, or at least a power chair like this. Groceries on my back, I don't feel. Groceries on my lap, I feel, but you know, I don't have to carry. And then my queen, unfortunately, does have to carry a backpack. But it's not too, too heavy, right, queen, or is it? No, it's not too heavy. Plus, for the short distance we're walking. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> and the weather's behaving, so that's a good thing. 
Did you see that? Yeah. It's always a fun day with the queen. Right next to the TV. Even though he gets on my nerves. Oh. He gets on my nerves. That's any relationship. It don't matter. I love her through it though. I love you too. My little munchkin. I can't wait to move. Don't get me wrong. We're in a very good location for where we at. Like, you know, we're definitely within walking distance of everything. We don't eat fast food that much, but if we did, like we definitely five minute walking distance from that. The grocery store, as you see, we do this a lot. It's like an every week thing. But the city as a whole is like that. I could definitely get over this place. Mm, yeah. I basically lived here all my life. Eli has basically like moved around a lot, so he done seen different places. But I have born and raised here pretty like boring now when you know you're younger it was pretty hype lots of fun yeah, everything but fun you know, yeah everything now is just really like pathetic and whatnot but so my hometown still represent regardless and uh but i'm definitely ready to move and experience life which is what we're working on with the whole like traveling you know, and starting our YouTube channel to help a little bit with that. Definitely, definitely. Promote whatever, you know, with his music, my artwork. So that's something to But yeah, those type of things. This won't be home for much longer. This will just be a place to visit. Also, like, I mean, for where we at, like, a lot of the people, especially in our age group, like, everyone agrees that this is not a place where you live or, you know, you start a dream. This is a place that, like, Come back and retire. You come back and retire too. Yeah, this is like when you're in your 60s and like you're ready to slow down just a little bit. Like this is the city for that. However, these past I say two years, maybe three, they've been building a lot of stuff. Like they've been re-ramping and rebuilding everything. The infrastructure, like a lot of companies, you know, building themselves here. I've yet to get why, but I guess I say this could be a better place. I'm not gonna say a place to be. We could be a better place within the next 10 years, maybe 15. I get it definitely be nice. Well, nice sir. <laughs> but yeah, I'm definitely ready to you know see the world. I'm ready to see my whole house. I've been living in my back room, you know, my closet my whole life here in this little small city town in North Carolina. This is too small. That's all. <laughs> small if I tell you the town that's like telling you people don't really know yeah people really don't know this town anyways there's you been times know. where like for example where I've been like in Charlotte and we tell people where we're from and then it's like what where's that place at what you mean Greensboro like people just don't know and just, just it's unknown it's like one of those type of places that you really don't hear about Unless you really like, yeah, unless you really like have to drive through here or you're a person that really does travel and just made a pit stop in this area. But other than that, um, it's unknown. Up, See, my cousin owned uh, a truck service and he was on the road one time and he told me about a guy he met that was actually um, from here in Statesville. And the dude, it was so damn funny. He said he moved here mid 90s. And the story of how he got here was funny. He was a trucker and he owned this truck and his truck broke down. And he's been here ever since. Like he was like, you know, low on money. So he got a job to, you know, try to get his truck back on the road. Ended up getting a job. And then unfortunately he ended up finding a place to do that. And then once he found a place and got a job, he's been stuck here ever since. Now that's 20 years plus of being somewhere. You didn't even intend to be here. You just luck of the draw. This is the type of place this is. I call it the quicksand city. Like once you're stuck here, man, if you don't get out and keep moving quickly, your ass will get stuck here. Unless you got high drive. Like I have high drive. I don't want to be here. And I'm definitely set on getting out. I promise you, 
had this um, injury not happened to me, I would not be here now. I would have been laughing like, about 20 years old, I would have been gone. I got hurt at 19 for those who you know, can't remember, but yeah, about 20 years old, I would have been gone. But I got hurt, and that, you know, built my dependency on having to stay here. Yeah, I don't want to bash the city though. It's not all bad, but it's definitely not much good. My love, I'm doing too much talking. <laughs> I let her speak. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have much to say. Well, besides the fact, like we're almost home, so. Let's see. Yeah, we're almost home, so yeah. About to end it right here. Talk to you guys later when we head back out. Later. Later.